there! So today is actually a really exciting day for me because we get to hatch two new divine dragons. How often do you get to say that? I mean, just considering how rare these dragons are, having two of them at once is kind of crazy. But of course we got these in the most recent castle event. So we'll do the Nezha dragon first, which is this one here. I always call it a girl for the DML lore. Technically it's a boy, but either way, I do like the design on the Nezha dragon quite a lot. And another thing is the divine sort of classification on the side there looks so different from what we're used to. But there we go. We've got our Nezha. So the Nezha dragon is a devoted protector known to make great sacrifices for those it loves. You can always count on Nezha both on and off the battlefield. So there we go. There's our first divine. And this dragon is a water and earth dragon, I believe. Very, very defensive divine. A lot of health. So... I still think the Ares dragon is probably a little bit better than the uh, the Nezha overall, but she's still quite a decent divine. And you, you know, if you didn't get any other divines, definitely worth using on your team, of course. And they've got the the little thing where they sort of prance very slowly towards the food, which I really do adore. But of course, we'll be feeding up both of these divines as well. Actually, we'll take them both up to level 10 and then we'll take them on a couple of fights just to, you know, see what they look like. But there's a very, very pretty looking dragon and I really like the massive hoop that they've got going on on the tail there. So random. But we've got her already and I do have the spot for the big bad boy, the Tai Zenran dragon. I have to say, his egg really does creep me out quite a lot. I don't know, I've said it before, it kind of looks like a hazmat suit to me. It's, ugh, not sure how I feel about that. But, there we go, we got our Tai Zenran as well. So, the great Tai Zenran dragon is a wise and powerful creature, blessed with endless patience, which is fortunate since it has to teach and wrangle the rowdy Nezha dragon. So yes, according to the official lore, what they're meant to do, and the in-game DML lore, the Tai Zenran is actually the teacher of the Nezha dragon that we just hatched. So, you know, these two being in the same habitat is actually pretty fitting at the end of the day. So this will mark dragon number 331 to our collection. And I am happy to get him. Again, this is a very, very strong divine. The second strongest dragon in the game based off of base attack stat. He is basically a replacement for the sumo dragon. He is literally just better than the sumo dragon in every way. So if you have the choice between... Stop begging for your food! But if you have the choice between this guy and the sumo dragon, you should definitely use this dragon instead. The only problem that you might run into is the fact that Divine Dragons can be very tricky to enchant. But apart from that, you know, Divine Dragons, you don't need a temple to be upgraded to level them up. So you, if you had the food for it, you'd be able to just instantly level up a Divine to level 80 without needing any temples, which is good stuff. But, I mean, just look at this guy. He looks badass. He looks cool. He's a really nice looking dragon and a very strong one at that. And I've said it before, the Tai Zenran... I'm sort of considering it. If I do make a fourth dragon to level 80, he may very well be a fourth level 80 that we're going to get. So, you know, you could see him on our main team one day. But like I said, we need to go and take those two out for a quick fight, at least to see what they look like. We need to pop in stuff in our breeding den soon as well. But let's go get a fight quick for these two. So where's a level 10 fight? Level 10 fights anyway, that's a level 12. That might be a bit much. Uh, let's go and get these two. You can see all my other divines in here as well if we wanted to use any of those. But we don't have any other level 10 dragons, I don't think. I mean, we'll scroll all the way down out of our 330 whatever dragons that we have and we'll have a look. I always forget what my lowest level dragons are at. Uh, we have level 4s and then a level 12. Uh, whatever, I guess we'll put the level 12 in then. It'll do. It'll do. But, of course, until we actually unlock the divine elements, they just have the divine element, which is strong against these fire dragons, which is great for us. But, 
don't really do much until you have the other elements unlocked and you know like we've been doing for years and years upgrades and everything like that but you know divines are the strongest dragons in the game they are basically just an upgrade to legendary dragons because the bless that you get from upgraded divine dragons is really really good actually maybe we can do this level 12 fight there are only two of them after all let's try it but you know if you did get even a single divine out of the upcoming events i definitely suggest using it on a late game team if you've got one planned out and i imagine that most people are obviously going to get the erlang shen dragon from the calendar event thing so if you didn't even manage to get any of these dragons from the past castle event at the very least if you get the erlang shen you should be still pretty good to go you can see these two pretty much wreck all of these fire dragons now there's nothing that can stand in their way but since we've got these two here what i'll do is i'll already start upgrading them because you can see for all the other divines pretty much i've already unlocked their divine skill and everything might as well do it for this guy if i plan on using him one day no reason not to really so we'll pop him in the academy we'll pop the nether in the academy as well eventually and i don't know maybe we'll have a full team of divines one day although i don't really suggest doing that for most people but we need to get our black armor dragon out of here so we will search black and we need to breed him with a fire dragon because this is the best combo that you can use it is the combo that i'm going to use especially considering my black armor is a decently high level where is our fire dragon oh there we go he's level 17 so we'll try again that's a 10 hour breeding time that kind of sucks well we'll we'll keep trying we've got an entire month to try and breed this fairy dragon after all so just gonna keep trying our best it's kind of annoying when you don't get the thing that you want over and over again but you know it is what it is and quickly before we do anything else i say quickly we are already seven minutes in but i just wanted to point out there is a special deal on which is pretty much exactly the same as it was for the guandy dragon if you saw that bundle but this is a 41 pound bundle so i live in england so this is for my currency 41 pounds and for that you get 125 divine tickets a legendary habitat and the medusa dragon so we had the guandy we've got the medusa so now the question is are we going to get the bone dragon returning and i guess the question or my answer to that is maybe there's probably a good chance but Overall, if you're going to consider buying Divine Tickets, these bundles here, £41 is a lot, and I wouldn't do it. But if you were just going to buy Divine Tickets anyway, these bundles are normally quite worth it, because it turns out that the Dragon and the Habitat ends up costing like £10. So that's actually really cheap for a Legendary. So if you want to go ahead and do that, you know, if you were going to buy Divine Tickets anyway, I do definitely suggest buying them when they're in the special bundles there. And, you know, speaking of which, the boss challenge I just stopped doing. Like, uh, I'd like to say that I wasn't lazy and didn't give up, but I did. I just, you know, I've already got the Sunrise Dragon. I don't really care about getting another one, so didn't really bother with it. And in an hour and 44 minutes, this Divine Chest is going to be leaving the shop. So if you want to have the chance of getting any of those dragons, you need to be using your tickets now. Or if you're going to save them all for the Chang Dragon Chest, you can go ahead and do that as well. So there's going to be a lot of stuff happening with Chapter 3 coming out. There's going to be more events. There's going to be the Dragon's Delight event as well coming out in two days' time because that's coming on the 7th. So there's a lot of stuff that is going to be coming up. Don't worry. The craziness of the Divine Event is not over. Will not be over for quite a little bit longer than now. But, obviously to start off the week, we have just had a new clan event that has begun. Well, it, it started a little while ago, but I was doing my breeding guide and everything. So, now, we do have all of this to deal with. So we could go ahead and pet some dragons for now. Why the heck not? I mean, the petting dragons quests are like some of the freest things in the world to get clan points for. 
And plus, when you pet your dragons, you do also have the chance of getting gems, of course, which, you know, we all need some extra gems in our lives. Gems are very delicious. They give us the opportunity to buy things in-game that we may not be able to have otherwise. So, gems are definitely a very good thing. And, Jesus, I just realised that I do not have VIP for much longer. Well... Every single one of my gems are going to go towards buying VIP for another month. I feel like that is legitimately the only thing I use my gems for anymore, just enabling VIP. Which, you know, is fair enough. Because with the amount of auto battle tickets and everything that I get, just, there's no way that I can't or I won't prioritise getting VIP back. So, even if I don't put money on in the game, like once a month or every two months, I will literally just save up every gem I have to afford VIP again. That is my thing that I do. But you gotta remember, I do already have an upgraded hatchery, I do already have an upgraded portal by quite a lot. So, there really isn't all too much left for me to buy using my own VIP, so... You know, you will get to a point eventually where that will be your best option, in my opinion, to just keep enabling VIP every month. But at the end of the day, depends on what point you're up to in the game and what stuff you already have unlocked. And we can pop these three back into the Ancient Palace, so let's hope that they bring out some juicy shards out of that Ruin Exploration for us. And... It looks like we can't really do any of these quite yet, so I am going to refresh all of those. And we got enough food to feed up our Hermes Dragon once. So here's level 74, and it costs 1.75 million, million food to feed him up a quarter of a level up. Which is um, very painful, but he will be level 80 soon. And at that point... He is going to be helping out our Autumn Dragon quite a lot. So, Mr. Hermes Dragon, I hope you are ready. Because you are going to have some hard work to do. Especially on the arena and stuff like that. Speaking of which, when is the Tsunami Dragon coming back to the arena? Because if it comes relatively soon, maybe we'll have Joko leveled up by then. And uh, then we'll be able to go for another arena run. So... Yeah, we'll have to wait and see, but having two dragons at level 80 is going to help us out a lot, like I've said before. But, you know, for now, I think that is mostly everything that we've got available in-game for now. But like I said, Chapter 3 is coming very soon. Probably shortly after this video goes up, if anything. But, I'm happy that we got our two new divines finally hatched, because, you know, they take four days to finish hatching, and I've sort of been gone for a couple of days, so they've been sitting in our hatchery for almost a week now. <laughs> well, close enough anyway, but finally got them out, finally can start upgrading them, and, you know, again, I look forward to having more divines in our main team one day. Maybe, maybe not soon, but maybe in a couple of years, <laughs> eventually, but... You know, that is going to do me for now, so, you know, if you got those two dragons, good work. If you didn't, I hope they come back in future for you. And I'll keep you updated with anything happening with the Divine Chess and all that jazz like I always do. So, for now, thanks a ton for watching today, and until next time, I'll see you then.